Hey, what's everybody? It's Night Shadow, and we're looking at Jack Specific Sonic 4-inch figure and my custom Sonic figure. So, these are made by Jack Specific. They're about, like, 4, maybe 5 inches, and they're decently articulated. They're not too bad. So, uh, yeah, they're, um... This is the modern Sonic, so let's take a look at him first. And this is modern Sonic, and he comes with... Well, he didn't come with this ring, but I gave him the ring for my display. And, uh, so we'll take a look at the uh, ring here in a sec, but I use, I'm using his uh, actual accessory for to hold up my phone. So the ring doesn't look too bad. It's all right. It's kind of bland. I wish it was painted gold to maybe look like more like a ring, but it's not too bad. And so here's the figure itself. Detail's not too bad. The sculpt is pretty good. Looks pretty, pretty much like modern Sonic should look. It's got green eyes there instead of the black because you know, classic Sonic has the black. And the shoes are a nice, decent color. I kind of wish maybe they were a little bit darker of a red. They just seem kind of light to me. So uh, let's take a look at some of the articulation. So he, he, he's he got, I think, like 25 points, I believe. But uh, he has a ball-jointed hand, which can rotate. His arm can go all the way around 360. He can go up and down on a hinge. And his thigh has a rotation with a disc hinge. And the foot can go up that far. And the foot can go back that far. And he has a bend at the knee. And that can also swivel as well. And go all the way around. And his foot is on a ball joint. And I almost forgot, but the uh, head also is on a swivel. I don't think it's a ball joint just because it doesn't go up and down. At least, I don't think so. At least not that much. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not too bad. It's pretty sick. Very much like Sonic. Now let's take a look at my custom here. So let's bring the custom in. Which is my custom Sonic. <laughs> Here's my custom Sonic.exe. It's basically the same figure as the regular modern Sonic. I just painted up and did some little sculpt out, sculpt out work with carving and everything. Because it is like made out of like a soft plastic, so I just kind of sculpted his mouth and everything. But yeah, it's not too bad. I did the blood on the eyes. I made the eyes black. At least the whites of the eyes and put the red pupils. Blood drip on the face there, and I also did the hands. I wanted to make the blood look as realistic as I could, but I still had to give it that like kind of cartoony feel. So it's not too bad. It looks pretty good. And he basically has the same articulation, pretty much as the other Sonic. They're about the same figure, but I also gave him a bullet hole wound. I just heated up a thumbtack and just stabbed it in him. I made it look as realistic as possible. I put the blood on the shoes, dripping down from the socks, and on the front of the shoe. I tried to do some variations with the blood drip to make it look all different, not just, you know, all the same. So, yeah, articulation pretty much the same. Arm goes all the way around. Bold, just, ah, my bad. Hinge up and down. Head swivels. Leg goes up and back. Bend at the knee. Ball jointed foot. Yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much the same. So uh, let's get some size comparisons in here. Let's see how it scales up. Here is Studio Series Soundwave from the Bumblebee movie. Here's Darth Vader from the Vintage Collection. Here he is with Fortnite. Here he is with Marvel Legends Deadpool from the movie. Well, that's it for the review. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be making some more videos here. I've just been a little busy and trying to find the best setup and everything like that. So uh, more will come soon. See ya.